Okay, hey, so I am gonna show you guys um, how I make my homemade ketchup. Tonight I'm gonna be making meatloaf, which is um, a pound of hot Italian sausage and then a pound of either bison or some sort of really nice ground beef. Um, and then I put onions in that and jalapenos. And then I top it with my homemade ketchup, which is just a recipe that I found on Pinterest. So I didn't, um, I didn't invent the wheel or come up with it on my own. Um, okay, so first we are going to, I'm trying to do this and show you at the same time. First of all, I've been soaking some dates, um, which is the base of my ketchup. So I've been soaking them in warm water for about six minutes or something, just so that they get a little bit soft. Um, you wanna get them without the pits, obviously. Um, and I throw them in my little food processor. Okay, and then I'm gonna need to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I love this one. Um, it's hard to hold the phone and do this at the same time, but I'm gonna give it a try, guys. Here we go. Um, so we are gonna do two tablespoons. Sorry, I'm pouring. We're gonna do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One, and then we'll do two. By the way, I'm a big ketchup fan. I'm from Texas, and I've loved ketchup my whole life. And since I started making this ketchup, I can't even re I can't even eat regular ketchup anymore. It's just so yummy. So I make this and I keep it in my fridge, and then my kids use it. I use it, whatever. Um, okay, so there's two apple cider vinegar. Um, and then we are going to, I like a little bit of spice, so I'm gonna add in some red pepper flakes. Not a lot, just a little to kind of give my ketchup a little bit of a spice. That'd be good. Um, okay, and then we're gonna do, oh baby, sorry. Um, then we are going to do um, half a teaspoon of, actually half a tablespoon. Sorry, um, we're gonna do half a tablespoon of onion powder. Okay, and then we are gonna do half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Again, trying to open this while I'm on here with you guys is really difficult. I'll get the hang of it. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can just set this down for a minute. Can you still see me? Yeah, okay, oh, this is better. Okay, and then I'm gonna do half of this garlic. One second, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna throw this in. Buddy. Okay, I'll get you some in just a second. Um, okay, so we've done that. And then I'm gonna, yes, buddy? <laughs> this is what cooking with kids is like. Uh, I'm making a recipe, baby. I'm gonna make some homemade ketchup. What are you doing? Ketchup. Yeah, you like ketchup, right? Awesome. Okay, buddy, hold on just a second. I'll give you some. Okay, and then I did um, half a tablespoon of salt. Then I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of paprika. And I'm gonna do six ounces of tomato paste. And then I'm gonna do three tablespoons of water. I'm gonna whip this bad boy up and uh, I'll show it to you when it's done. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. 